Welcome to my virtual presentation. I'm Dr. Kibet from the Center for Open Distance and E-Learning, Machakos University. The topic of my virtual presentation is verbal and non-verbal communication. So in this virtual presentation, we are going to look at the verbal and verbal communication. We shall also look at the factors which cause communication breakdown and how to improve communication. What is verbal communication? Verbal communication is passing of information from one person to another by using the word of mouth. This means that the words and communication symbols are spoken but not written. Nonverbal communication. Nonverbal communication refers to the passing of messages using means other than words and writing. Non-verbal communication is primary, continuous, and the meaning is frequently ambiguous. Uh, let's look at the examples of non-verbal communication. One, gestures. These are movements of the body parts, for example, hands and the head. Movements of the hands, the arms, and the body accompany speech and may be used to illustrate a word, such as moving the hands apart to show how large a fish was. Facial expression. It is the most obvious component of body language. It can be used to express a wide range of emotions from joy, pleasure, and anger can also be used when giving feedback and cues for continuity or termination of social interactions or activity. Posture. Posture is used to convey internal feelings, for example, sadness, hunger, surprise, and impatience. Appearance. It is a very important form of communication. It includes the way one is dressed, their styles, and overall cleanliness. Appearance can help one to tell what kind of a person one is. Position in space. The distance between two people can communicate several messages, for example, being in love. Touch. It is a message which may mean love, not happy, or one has been hurt. Now, I want us now to look at the factors that affect communication. These are one, language barrier. Two, when the receiver or the learner is unable to understand the terminology is used. So some of the language barriers includes the following. Using language which is too technical, poor communication, poor spelling of words, use of language and familiar to learners, attitudes towards the subject matter, wrong choice of words or vocabulary, lack of capacity to use technology, lack of proper preparation, dull delivery of the message, and the subject matter. Now, in the next section, I'm going to look at how to improve communication. How do we improve communication between two or more people? One, proper planning. Planning well, planning well is planning to succeed. Prepare well before you go to teach or deliver, or deliver a speech. But to complete message, your message should be clear, specific, and complete. Three, capture the attention of the learner or receiver while teaching or speaking. Four, combine verbal and nonverbal communication to make communication more effective. K, 
keep time. Start on time and end on time. Too long communication or a lesson or a speech will be boring. Feedback. Get feedback while teaching or delivering speech. Feedback enables one to prepare for the next course of action. Careful listening. Listen carefully or attentively to children or audience while communicating or teaching. Have audience eye contact. Look at the audience or the learners while teaching or communicating. And that marks the end of my virtual presentation. And we've been looking at verbal and nonverbal communication. Thank you.